Hi and welcome to the Adam Shop channel. I'm your host Mohammad Adam with another screencast on iOS development and today we are going to check out the view controller transitions in iOS 7. Now if you are unfamiliar with view controller transitions let's take a look at the messages app or the app store app in your iPhone running iOS 7. You will see a different kind of transitions going in that place. Now of course you do have those normal model pop-ups and push transitions but the custom transition or view controller transitions API in iOS 7 also allows you to create your own custom transitions and what that this is what we're going to do in this uh, particular screencast so first let's go ahead and run this application that I'm working on and it's a very simple application as you can see it has a navigation bar and a bar button uh, which says about if I click that button it's a default transition for the model kind of transitions that is available in uh, you know all the previous releases of iOS uh, framework so we're going to change that now we're going to have a custom transition we're going to change this transition a little bit just to add a delay to it but later on as we built on that example in later screencasts you will see that we can change it completely so um, this is the view uh, the storyboard that you can see it looks pretty simple the only reason I'm coloring this view in red is that you will notice you can see it much more clearly that it's, uh, it's sliding up from the bottom okay so in order to do view controller transitions you have to create you have to inherit the protocol which is the UI view controller animated transitioning okay and I'm creating this base or uh, bounce present animation controller uh, which which will not really bounce at this particular point in the next screencast we're going to change it completely but since it's a long screencast I wanted to you know separate it out into two screencasts so this is a code for the bounce animation controller and I'm going to explain it in a bit because the transition so the transition duration is basically the amount of time in seconds it will take to complete your transition and the animation duration or animate transition is the the place where the magic happens is this is a place where your actual transition is going to take place so the first thing we're going is that we're getting into the context and we're saying that okay give us the two view controller key which is the destination view controller the red one and give us the final frame for the view controller so we get the final frame um, we get the container view because all of these transitions that happens they happen in a container view we get the screen bounce we place the two view controller which is the red view that you see the red view uh, we place it uh, off the screen and we added it to the container view on in which all the transition happens and then in the end we're just sliding it up to the final frame okay that's all we're doing which creates a transition but this is only the animation controller part this is the controller or the animation controller which will do the animation now you have to tell your source that you're going to do some kind of transition so this is where we step in to write our uh, code for the source so this is our view controller this is the one with the about button all right so the first thing it needs to do is it needs to uh, use the UI view uh, controller transition delegate which is transition delegated this all right let me here we go all right now after that we are going to uh, basically initialize we have to create basically one more the bounce view controller so I'm just gonna create it over here bounce view controller and I can simply say over here bounce uh, animation controller okay this is a setup now we need to make sure that we initialize the bounce view controller whenever um, deserializes whenever the storyboard is deserializes and that can be done in the init with coder so we can do it over here here we go and the final thing will be to for us would be to prepare for segway 
and another thing is the animation controller for presented controller okay so first let's jump to the uh, segue part so this is the storyboard and segue over here is called about segue okay so let's go over there and we can implement the segue which will be fired um, when your segue is taking place so we can say segue dot identifier is equals is equals to string uh, what is it about segue okay and in this case you have to tell the two view controller that hey you you do have a custom transition right you're not going to use the transition that is given by apple you do uh, there's a custom transition and you can use that so let's go ahead and say segue dot destination view controller and then to view controller dot transition delegate equal to self okay now the last part is to implement another protocol method and i'm just going to copy paste it and this protocol method will of course be fired when the animation when the view controller asks for the animation that okay uh, can i get the animation controller which is responsible for making all the animations and you can right now we only have one kind of animation so we are just uh, returning back the bounce animation controller but if you do have multiple animations uh, for your different segways for your different uh, views controller transitions then you can check over here and you can send in a different uh, animation controller depending on your needs okay uh, let's go ahead and run this if I click the about button you can see that this is now firing our custom animation which is two seconds and I can go ahead and change that now the two second of course is a pretty long time for this animation but this is only so that you can understand that our animation is getting fired so now it's five seconds and you can see it's now getting fired in five seconds so this was a very basic kind of uh, tutorial explaining that how you can build your own custom transition and even though our custom transition that we build in this particular example is pretty much like the apple transition that apple model tra view controller transition that is right out of the, out of the box uh, but the main concept is clear that we can change these transitions in by creating an animation controller and uh, and especially in the animate transition method we can change the behavior of how the transition will actually take place and we'll check it out in the later tutorial so i hope you like this tutorial this is just a stepping stone into the next tutorial which we're going to see that we can actually build a balanced transition for our model pop-up thank you very much and have a great day and stay tuned for more